Hey, how's it going? So real quick before I turn in for the night, no, no, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to share this. Maybe everybody's supposed to get a glimpse of this from their own perspective. This whole place that we're in, right? It's a carbon-based environment, right? This whole world, we're all carbon-based organisms. The, everything in this world is made up of carbon, okay? You guys remember those, uh, remember those cool pieces of paper called carbon copies? Okay, you know, you press on the top sheet and it goes all the way down. You know what I mean? And it makes imprints and it makes copies of it based upon the impression. Okay, and it's, you get multiple copies, however many copies are there. Normally there's three or four, you know, sometimes there's a lot more, but, you know, the same principle here is what I'm getting at. We, in this world, the human flesh, us, we are a carbon copy. Being manifested through realms into the third dimension, into this realm here. And this place is the, it's a converging point in the now moment. The now moment is the convergence of all the realms into one manifested realm. All of the realms become manifested here and now. It's just the human eye can only see a range, a spectrum of light. We, we can only perceive so much light. Our brains can only process so much light that we are given to the human brain, the human body, the eye can, it's infinite. It's, 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 it's a reward. It's a reward for doing the work, the shadow work and the light work, both together doing the work. It's a reward to be able to have that is what I'm hearing right now. And it's a reward. Following the footsteps of Christ. It's a reward. Um, but we're all here right now. That's all there is. Christ said heaven is now. Heaven is inside you and the kingdom is now. We are in the only heaven we are going to receive. This is the kingdom of God. Christ died 2,000 years ago for us to have this kingdom. I've been so lied to. We're waiting for a deception that is already in place. Firmly. Apparently. In every one of us. I'm, I praise the name. Every day that I wake up every day that I know differently that I don't know why you, I don't know maybe it's because the one thing I asked for the most my entire life even as a child it's the one thing I asked more for most was Christ things of the spirit even though I was a hellion is the one thing I wanted most, but everything's right now. It's all right now. There's no heaven coming. There's a place that we go that's the next realm. It's the one after this one. It's We have to graduate here in order to get there. If not, we have to come back to this realm and do it over again until we do what we said we would do before we came here sounds crazy I know it but you came here for a purpose and until we fulfill that purpose until we f until we pay the utter last farthing, the very last penny we will not leave this place it's what the word says and that's what happens 
we get a different body, we get different aspects to ourselves. We're ripped apart on a soul level, but the core of us, the fragment of light that we were given from the Divine Father, from the Divine Parents, the fragment of light that we were given that is us, the, that is the me that is speaking to you, it, it remains, it's still there, it's still the same fragment of light, no matter how many times that the, that the rulers, that the architects rip us apart and put us together, that very same fragment is still the core of our very being. That's how you are still you, even though you've been here before. We're just links in a chain, but each link has to do its part. Each cog has to, you know, each, each character plays a role. 606, that's funny. I don't know, that number keeps coming up lately for some reason. Patrick, thanks, buddy. <laughs> um... But it's all right now. It's all right now. There's nothing that you need to wait for. Christ said, time is now. Heaven is now. All the promises that were promised to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, promised to Israel, that Christ promised, all those promises are 100% promise to you right now, the descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the descendant of Christ, of God the Father, who is the son, who is the first of many brethren and sister, and the Bible was written in a very, very sexist way, you know, we all know this, could do to the, the sub, you know, the subversion of the feminine spirit, which is actually the part that creates it's it's the part that we know as what we believe to be god but what we think of as a father a, a, a bestower but our mother bestows upon us our father bestows upon our earthly mother and our earthly mother gives according to our need we think we need to go to work and earn it every day but it's a free gift gratisio what we do is for ourselves out of selfishness I guarantee it. What we do is out of want. We were taught to believe that we needed to go work for everything, yes. But seriously, ask a homeless man how they make it every day. They make it every day. They don't need for anything. They want for things, but even homeless people, they, a lot of them don't care for the materials. That's why they're there. But I found that the lost, you know, but that's attractive. Well, thanks for coming out and belching to let me know that it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, little buddy. Sorry, this is my nephew. He's seven. What can you expect? He's amazing. Gosh, he might be eight. Oh. I love the little guy, though. Oh, they keep me young. That's for sure. I'm really blessed. But, um, yeah, it's, if I could give anything, there's a lot that's been revealed I don't know if I can speak on. I know this one, I hope that it opens your eyes to the control that the church is hanging over our heads and it doesn't matter which denomination. They hold heaven over our heads like it's a ticket, like it's a seat on a train and they're holding them all in their hands. They hold the keys in their hands, they don't enter nor do they allow anyone else to. They stay here to hold the power. They choose not to go in. When the time comes, they have the keys and they know what's gonna happen when they, when they pass from this flesh and they choose to remain and take another form 
so that they can hold power. They just come back within their lineage. Seriously. It's like planned reincarnation. Those movies like Get Out speak of that very thing. It doesn't happen like we're thinking, but... Oh, man, that would get into some really sci-fi stuff and some really radical, radical belief, like, metaphysically, quanta metaphysics on a cellular level. Like, that would be... My head's going to explode... But yeah, yeah. I don't know, it feels kind of like that, that the Fallen have that kind of ability. That they just get to, to, to... The archetypes, the powers that be, just seem to... I don't know, but God's in control, ultimately. So, I don't know. But, I don't know, I'm not scared of anything. I know... Stand against, right? God be for us. Who who could be against us? Duh. Duh. Yeah. We're all one soul. Adam and Eve were the only two humans. One male, one female. That's one complete human. A male counterpart and a female counterpart. One, two genders, one human. Okay, they multiplied, go forth and multiplied. They didn't, they didn't clone themselves and then multiply, you know what I mean? So that everybody had different Adams and different Eves. No, we all came from them. The geographic locations of the earth changed us. The environment changed us as we changed the environment. The environment changed us. We looked different because our bodies and evolved to adapt to our environments. And as we changed, we changed our environments and our environments changed us. And in turn, we keep going in the cycle of change, lobbing the ball back and forth to the earth, back to us, to the earth, back to us, change us, change that, change us, change that, adapt. Okay. And We only came from the two. We we're just divided up. We took the same two lights and just the same one light that was divided up into two. And we just divided it up further as we go. We just multiply it out and we create vessels for the divine to inhabit this world through. That's what we are, even though we're not consciously aware of it. We think we are ourselves and that we are singular, but we yearn for connectedness. We, we are so lonely inside for a reason because we yearn to be connected with others. We, we long for it. It's why we were created. We were created to be in connection with the divine, but we don't know how to find God. We find God in others, but we, we think that we're chasing after the other person, but we're actually chasing after God in that. After the drug, after the, the movie, after the... It doesn't matter what we're chasing after, it's God in it. But it's... It, things of this world can be destructive. So we end up, you know, destroying ourselves in our ignorance, in our... our thirst for it. I don't know, that, that goes into other things too. Other, that, that would go into like other energies, everything too. And that, but like, excuse me. But yeah, seriously, we are only the one human, many souls, just the one soul, excuse me, the one soul 
broken up into many bodies. That's it. That's it. Division is old. It's done. It's over with. I don't know. Dang it. Man, this thing about emotions and feelings and, you know, this is what I'm passionate about, but I feel so just like, you know what? I know this is what I want to say, but it's not how I want to convey it. Like, there's so much more to this. This... This reaches a depth so much deeper within my soul than I am, that like my words, my tone is conveying. Like, I went out into the darkness and, and I found something. I found a light <clears throat> out there that actually led me home and I, I, I don't know, I, I come out and I, I see that, like, it feels like everybody's going somewhere else. And it, it's like, no, 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 don't go that way. But, like, there are some going off a cliff. Like, what do you do with that? But I know that even if people go off the cliff, it's, they're going to end up right back where they need to be in order to make it to where they need to go. So, you know, in all things in his time, not mine, but... Yeah, yeah, this, like, I don't know, but I get what he's saying now. I totally get what the Holy Spirit's trying to convey is, where's the fire? Where's the water? I hear it. You guys have a fabulous rest of your evening. God bless you all, every one of you. Man, may he make his face to shine upon us. Just, wow. Man, God loves you all, really. He loves us all, each and every one of us. Everything, this whole place. He loves us. We just, we tend to take advantage of that love or we take that love and we give it to other things instead of give it back to him. And he gets really jealous about it. Like any dude would, man, if we gave, if, you know, say we were given our wife, you know, all of our attention, our affection, our money, any energy, everything, giving that woman everything. And she took that and gave it to another dude, right? Or never even, she took it and accepted it, but never gave you any attention back. Just like totally vanished, right? Well, that's what we do with our lives. We chase after everything else. He gives us everything. Our divine parents give us everything. It, this place manifests everything you can even possibly imagine. This world, this earth gave us this wood to make this table, this couch, this house, this everything. This earth gave it everything, all the materials. So God gave us everything. Even the desires of our heart daily. And we still chase after those manifested desires. Then to turn around and say, thank you for that. And what can I do for you? Right? Like, What's going on big guy thank you man i really appreciate what you're doing how can i be a part of this how can i help out what can i do how can i serve how can i be of service to humanity too we we often dislike god I, i'm grateful for the for the house but I, i'm really bored i need a video game and I, I totally would like a new big screen and a new car and you know what I mean? We tend to like just think about everything materially that we need and then just, just, 
Um, I don't know, but like I said, God's jealous for us. You know what I mean? And and just think like, man, you can, if you're going through trials right now, just know that you've awakened jealous love in this world for you. So like, psh, you know what I mean? Just thank God for that. He still cares. That's what's up. But, uh, yeah, I totally, I've got to rest this body. I totally, um, I'm going to go to work tomorrow. You guys have a fabulous rest of your evening. And enjoy your week. Just know that you are loved, you know. Smile. Be happy. That devil's a liar. You know what I mean? Don't fear. Don't be guilty. If you're scared of anything, just try it. Just go through it. Face it. That's what it is, right? God bless.